Hi, my name is Tony and today I'm going to show you how to make a samurai mask. Before we start, got to tell you a few things. I used 7 to 8 ounces of vegetable tan leather for this. And it was a bit too much, a little bit too much. So the ideal weight, the ideal thickness of the leather I recommend you use should be around five, six ounces, all right? I also recommend vegetable tan leather because being a mask, you want to be able to shape it a little bit to your face. And um, you basically build the whole mask like I did. And on the back, you wet the mask once it's done. And then, you know, you just shape it. And when it dries, the, the mask will, will hold its shape. It also has a neck guard or neck armor. This is part of the samurai, um, you know, whole assemble. It's optional. You know, my patterns allows you to get creative, to add things, to leave them out. This is one of those things you can leave out. I've also used copper rivets. All right. I wanted it to look old. I wanted it to look ancient. I wanted it to look vintage, traditional. And these copper rivets give it that vintage look I was going for. Having said that, you can go ahead and use whatever rivets you have, provided they are long enough to go through all the layers of leather you're going to be using. And um, there is a point here where it has to go through three different layers. All right, so take that into account when you choose what rivets you're gonna be using. Other than that, pretty easy build. This shouldn't take you more than, I don't know, three hours. It has adjustable straps, so it will fit almost anyone. So yeah, this is my mask. This is what I propose we should do today. And um, let's go ahead and get started. But before you go, if you are a member of my Facebook group, you already know a couple of days ago, I started a contest. And all you had to do to take part is wear a face mask. The main point of this contest is to get more people to wear a fucking mask because at the moment before we have a vaccine, this seems to be the most effective way to calm this virus down. It's not foolproof, but it's better than nothing. So in order to spread awareness, I started this contest. And I'm going to ask Professor Tony to choose a winner for us. He will also answer one of the questions people are asking these days. Okay, not necessarily leather related, but uh, I'm very curious to get his input on this matter. So, Professor Tony, please enlighten us and choose a winner for the $100 prize. Go ahead. Which, which camera? Why, why you got two cameras? The question of the week? No. The question of the century. Is the coronavirus real? Yes. It's real. That's it. You got you got something else? Announce the winner. What? We're gonna give away a hundred dollars to somebody for wearing a mask. You, you what? You give away $100 for people just because they wear a mask? Remind me never to invest in your business. I thought you were supposed to, 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 to get money from customers, not give money. I, I, I don't know. I didn't go to business school. I thought that's how business works. Whatever, whatever. Yeah, so pick a winner. I don't know, this guy. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fucking sure. Look at him. Okay, thank you. This guy. Okay. 
Okay, I'm 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 out. I'm out of here. I don't know why I keep getting him back. If you don't want to miss out on our next contest, go ahead, join our Facebook group. Go ahead, subscribe to this channel. Click that notification button and as soon as we have something new coming out, you are the first to know. Thank you so much for choosing to make your mask with my pattern. Stay safe. Now that you have the files on your computer, you have to open and print them. I recommend using Adobe Reader. This is a software that's free to use, that's what I use. You cannot open and uh, print them using editing software like Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw or other software that can change the pattern itself. Also, our patterns are not compatible with laser cutters of any sort. There is one setting you need to have checked when printing the pattern. Please keep actual size or print at 100%, it's the same thing. The page size is A4. However, you can go ahead and choose letter or you can choose a legal size, which are more popular in the US. The first page will contain a sizing diagram. There are two squares. Make sure when you print, the square is five or two inches in size. So go ahead, use a ruler, make sure the size is right. When you print the patterns, you need to cut them um, along the dotted line, okay? The one that has scissors. It's very important, very important, when you put them together, both of those scissor sides match up. After we got all the patterns printed, we paste them together and then we cut them out of the leather. You don't need to cut precisely on the black lines at this stage. Get all the pieces out of, um, out of these pages. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna tell you next how to use these paper pieces to cut your leather. Now choose the right leather for your project and then place the paper patterns on top of the leather. Use some masking tape to hold every piece flat, completely flat on the leather. At this stage, you're ready to go ahead and punch the holes. Make sure you get all the holes. Don't miss any because it'll avoid uh, a lot of frustration later. So after you've punched all the holes, you can go ahead and cut the leather pieces out. You have to cut precisely on the black lines. Make sure the blade that you're using, whatever blade that is, is at the right angle, 90 degrees. At this stage, you should have every piece needed to finish your design.